businessman who evaded hundreds of thousands of pounds in tax used the money to buy expensive cars, horses and a luxury cottage. Ben Richardson has been sentenced to just six years in prison for defrauding a tax man of more than £2 million. The 47-year-old from Deal in Kent ran a series of failing construction companies in nine years and blamed his accountant for the errors when they were discovered. Using the cash he illegally saved from cheating on VAT returns and not paying tax, Richardson funded a lavish lifestyle which included buying a house for more than £200,000 between October 2010 and July 2019. He ran four companies named SPR UK, SPR Modular, Lex Industries and Merrygate Enterprise Limited, all involved in the sale of modular buildings to construction sites and they were each used in various ways to defraud the HMRC. Richardson admitted to multiple tax evasion offences, fraudulently evading tax income and national insurance contributions. He also pleaded guilty for failing to disclose construction industry scheme returns which resulted in an additional sum of nearly £380,000. Now of course while some are bound to say well six years in prison he got his punishment what's the problem? In truth he's only going to serve half of that isn't he before he's presumably on licence on parole so if anything he's getting three years actually behind bars for fraudulently getting £2 million. Therefore it's surely like getting paid £666,000 per year for just spending a bit of time in prison. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know who that judge is, but he seriously needs to go back to, I don't know, learn a bit about the law maybe and actually increase people's sentences. If I was a judge, I would sort this crap out once and for all. I would say that if you defraud any money or do a horrible crime, then you'll instantly get from 15 years in prison. And worse, the crimes will obviously be much more. Because let's face it, people need an actual deterrent rather than just spending presumably half of your sentence behind bars and the other half act on parole. And unfortunately, the article doesn't say if he's made to pay it back or not. But if he was made to pay it back, which for us I think he should have been, he should be made to pay that back plus interest and why not an extra million pounds for being a bit of a penis. But of course it always just seems doesn't it that the rich people or famous celebrities just seem to get away with everything or get light sentences when everyone else appears to be treated much harsher. Which you know don't get me wrong if people do do crimes they should be given long sentences in general because at the end of the day they shouldn't have committed whatever crime that was and that goes for famous people, rich people as well as normal everyday people. Although yes admittedly with having all that money he was probably bound to afford a really good lawyer wasn't he? Unless of course it was the same Durham Constabulary who investigated something like Keir Starmer's Curry Night all that time ago. Another person who, let's face it, unfortunately recently got his freedom was Gary Glitter. But in this video, it looks like he actually done us all a favour by doing something really stupid to send him right back to prison. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.